Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to design a logo using the pen tool and drawing straight lines only. Um, this is the logo we're going to work on. Uh, the JPEG image of this uh, logo is provided for you. You can go to File Place. You can download it and then File Place to place it here. Um, now we're going to look at it and try to create something similar. Uh, first and foremost I'm going to click here for the Type tool and type click there and type W. Um, I hold shift and type W so it's uppercase and um, I'm going to switch back to the selection tool hold shift and drag it to increase the size. Yeah it seems like it's too narrow. We can go highlight it with the T tool go to characters and make it bold. You need to resize it a little bit. There you go. Okay, so we're going to do our design here. Um, you can, by the way, change, uh, let me show you the font si font as well. I'm using Marriott Pro and I'm using bold. If you want to make it thicker, you can go black. So it's It's a bit thicker as well. Alright, since we will be drawing on the top of this, it's a good idea to lock this layer. So I'm going to go here, expand my layers, and that's the W, that's the sub layer. Click here to lock it, it's not moving anymore, wonderful. Alright, so I'm going to pick up the P, um, I'm going to pick up the P tool to start drawing, but it's quite challenging to draw all these lines if you don't have any guidelines. So why don't we put some guidelines first. Let's go to view, rulers, show rulers. Then I'm going to drag this horizontal ruler down and that's that's just um, that's enough. Just one guideline is enough for this project. So now I can pick up the P tool, click, click, click and click to close it. I'm going to switch to the eyedropper tool to sample the color from here. There you have it. As you see I'm a little bit off. I'm not going to be worried about that when I'm drawing because I can always modify those. There's also a chance that um, snap to the grid is selected. So make sure you go to the view and check all these snaps, make sure they are not checked so it doesn't give you a bad time. And also make sure the guidelines are locked. Alright, so I can pick up the direct selection tool, click on this and drag it here, and this one. Yeah, a bit off there and a bit off here. There you go, it looks much better. Now I'm going to do this triangle. So I'll pick up the P tool again, pen tool, press P for pen. Um, I like to start from a point, drawing it, uh, drawing these, uh, this rectangle from a point that there's no shape already. So one click here two, three, and I'm going to close it. It has the same color. We would like to sample the color. I'm going to tell you the short key, uh, shortcut key for it. It's letter I. It turns to eyedropper. There you have it. Then press letter P. That's for pen. So we're going to use these to pick up the speed a little bit. I'm going to do this one now, starting from here. One, two, three, and four. Press I for eyedropper, sample. There you have it. I think you get the whole story, right? So now I'm going to do this bottom part. Letter P again. Start from somewhere there's no shape. One, two, three, and four. I, sample, P, back to pen tool. Now I'm going to do this part. One, 
two, three, and four. I for eyedropper sample, back to P. I'm going to start from here. Sample this one. Again, eye for eyedropper. I need this dark color. There you go. Um, I can do this one now. So P, I can do one, two, three, and four. So there's the same colors. Yeah, actually I made a mistake, didn't I? Yeah, which is fine. I can pick up the direct selection tool, click on this, and bring it here. Yeah, it's totally fine to make mistakes uh, when you're drawing with the pen tool. It's, um, it's a uh, complex tool, so don't be upset when it happens. You can always modify the shape, no problem. I'm going to go back to the P tool. Now I'm going to do this one. So one, two, three, and close the shape. Press I for eyedropper, sample that. And I need to bring that dot a little bit higher. There you go. We're almost done. Back to the P tool. So let's see what we're going to do so I don't hopefully make a mistake this time. Um, I'm going to start from here. Okay, it looks decent. I just need to sample that one. Okay, I'm, I just, I'm going to pick up the speed because it's the same routine. I'm not going to explain every single click anymore. And sample the color. We're almost done here. Again, sample the color. Okay, we have two more elements. One right here. Sample. And the last segment. One, two, two three, and four. Sample it. Okay. I need to modify this anchor point. Bring it higher a little bit. All right. Maybe it's too far up. There you go. So now if you go to the layers panel, you see all these shapes you drawn are here. I do have this W here which was locked. I can make it invisible. I don't need it anymore. You can also right click here with the selection tool, unlock the guides, and get rid of this, press delete. I have a little bit of a problem here. There's a bit of a gap. You can pick up the direct selection tool and modify all these little points. And there you have it. Drawing a logo with the pen tool and straight lines only. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.